Softree, and in this tutorial, we're going to explore some of the RoadEng features for alignment design and earthwork balancing. In this project, we're going to continue the realignment design from our previous videos. This project has the following design goals. Increasing our design speed to 40 miles per hour, minimizing cut and fill volumes, balancing subgrade volumes, and minimizing right-of-way. Our project's constraints are maintaining grades of less than 8%, lane width, shoulder width, material thickness and slopes, vertical constraints of design speed and site stopping distance, and horizontal constraints of design speed and super elevation. Our goal in this exercise is to adjust both the vertical and horizontal alignments within the constraints so that we minimize and balance our volumes. The green dotted slope stake lines in this plan indicate the footprint of the design. Let's bring our profile window to the front and notice the shape of the ground and our quantities indicated by our mass haul diagram. Our road passes through a hill and therefore has large cut volumes. Let's now bring our plan window to the front so we can see the contours representing the hill underneath this current point. Over the next couple steps, we're going to adjust the minimum radius of both of our curves. This will allow us to have some room to move our horizontal alignment so it is not so far up the hill. To start, let's restore our horizontal curve panel and navigate to the first curve. The minimum radius defines the smallest curve possible given design speed and the super elevation table. Using the minimum radius checkbox, notice that the radius can be reduced to 600 feet without reducing our design speed. In the plan window, let's move C1, our intersection point for the south curve, north, and C2, our intersection point for the north curve, south, both while maintaining tangency with the old road. A captured IP point will stop moving and have an audible beep, if you have your sound on, when the curves bump into each other and become an S-curve. Now let's take a look at the new shape of our ground. Finally, we'll adjust the vertical alignment to balance the volumes. Here, we're going to watch our mass hall diagram. A few more adjustments, and this would be fully balanced. Examining the revised design in plan, profile, and in the mass hall subwindow, we can see the total cut and fill has been reduced, the road footprint is smaller, the road grades have been reduced. Please note, this example is for illustration purposes only. In reality, the S-curve may be considered unsafe. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for joining us.